Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is August 30 and I'm exactly two weeks out from the Olympia. Super excited, super happy and even more, ex more excited today because I have someone, I have someone visiting and it's my coach Kimoto. <laughs> He's here in my house, we, guys. Yeah, really. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm into Sherilyn. <laughs> he is. I'm so happy to have him here. Uh, it's fun. I've, I've been looking forward to coming out and being able to see everything in person and, you know, what kind of do what we do these last, you know, two weeks to really dial this bad boy up. Yeah, because uh, we do everything online. Having him here to see how I look in person, do, you know, the final two weeks is like everything right exactly. now. Exactly. And we've, we've officially decided to change this. We, we're we no longer going to call a peak week. These are adjustment weeks. Adjustment Because yes. when, when you're already almost at peak, all mm -hmm. you got to do is just a few little adjustments. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, we're going to do a check-in. <laughs> you see, I need more food. <laughs> okay, just <laughs> so he's taking a look as he's here. He's taking a look on me after every meal, and he already took a look on me before breakfast. So I had breakfast. It's already past the time for checking because you know it's already time for meal too. So I'm gonna have a check in with him. We're gonna see how I look, and he's gonna see if I should eat the same food, you know, as my diet, meal two, or change something. Angelica's body is rapidly changing and it's moving so fast that we like to keep close tabs on it. So we basically keep tabs on it three times a day. So this is already check-in number two. And so by, by keeping a close eye and monitoring what she's doing, we can get better control of where her body's at and how quickly her body's responding. Right there. Good. Excellent. Take your time. Chest up. Beautiful. Nice fullness to those shoulders. Waist is tapering right on the button. Here comes that lower body. Swing her around. Glutes are nice and full. Lines are coming in. Bring those shoulders a little forward. Excellent. Like this? Perfect. Straighten your arms just a little bit. There you go. And then open that body line up. So much more fullness to that upper body and so much more taper. It's really dropping that waistline down. What do you think difference between uh, first thing in the morning and now after breakfast? So with that first meal, body fullness came right up. Obviously when we wake up in the morning, it's probably where we're at our tightest. And then you get that first meal in, then the pop starts to come to the muscle. So you see the glutes start to fill and round. You see those shoulder caps start to round. As you go through the morning, you get tighter and tighter. When you first wake up, you tend to be a little to that flatter side, a little bit less water. Then once you get up and get moving, you get some glycogen in your system. We get those healthy fats in your system. We start to hydrate you. Your body then starts to wake up. And then all that fullness comes out. Some of that water pulls through and boom. Everything it's falls. More it's popping more uh -huh. now. So even hamstrings. Even hamstrings. We are ahead of schedule from where we were last year. This is a significantly fuller physique. Uh, you have so much more balance top to bottom. You have so much more fullness and curve to the upper body. And it's really projecting through to that waistline. So really excited about this. This I can't can't wait. It's one of those times. It's like it's it's like some your dad giving you the Christmas present, but not letting you open it up. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> when you get a feedback like this, yeah. Then, then we go. Then we go into. The, I, I don't know what this dance is, but we're gonna no, call it our happy no. dance. No, we do a little samba. So now this week coming week is eyebrows everything like hair is already done nails gotta think about every detail my coach is here 
so I got away very on point just today. Just kidding, I always do. Ah, guys, I forgot to mention, I found a few dresses. So, last YouTube I was looking for a dress. I found a few. I went to another mall and now I just gotta choose the right one. Guys, this magazine just came out. I found in the supermarket yesterday. So happy, it's everywhere, everywhere. So, I'm gonna get one to Coach Kimoto. Yay! I'm gonna sign it for him. He deserves, he's part of my journey for four years, right, Coach? 40? I'm four. not even 40. Four. <laughs> <laughs> Probably carry something for me. I'm too weak. Whatever. You're not giving me enough food. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you just want me to work. I do. We should take this too. Oh, here we go. Now I'm really in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> we got the trifecta here. Uh, okay, now, beach, top. Most of it's going to be a combination of the plyometrics and a little bit of the legs. Everything will be light. Okay. So you set the weight where you want to set it. Okay. All I'm going to do is say, okay, now but let's... But you want it light. Yes, don't go heavy with everything. So like the first go around, we'll probably do walking lunges. Then we'll go to the bench, we'll do step ups. We'll do 20 with one leg. We'll switch legs, 20 with the other leg. Then we'll go over here and we'll do some plie. And then we'll do maybe like some stiff leg deadlifts. Just don't come up past your knees. So just down to your toes and then stop at your knees. Okay. Then we'll then we'll go to the treadmill and we'll walk for five minutes. Then we'll do a second circuit and I'll just change the order. Maybe do a little bit of just really light press. Mm -hmm. And then we'll do maybe like some, um, some side lunging, you know? Mm -hmm. And then we'll do uh, probably one more, you know, uh, I'll think of another, probably like a little squat with a cable. Okay. And then we'll go back and we'll do five minutes of cardio. And then we'll do one last circuit and then we'll do five minutes cardio. That's it, we'll be Three done. Sets. Right, so it's all gonna you be very boss. light. Whatever all, you Just say. follow my lead. It's yeah. not gonna be to pump the legs. It's gonna be more to make it aerobic. It's mm -hmm. more to kind of hit, touch little areas, kind of speed it up, make it almost, almost like a cardio session. Mm -hmm. Bring more details. More detail. More detail. That's it, because it gets okay. outside of what a machine can do. Yeah. So mm -hmm. when you're doing these things, you're not you're not regulated by range of motion. Yeah. You can get outside the machine. Let's do this. Good. And you're taking your time. Perfect. That keeps your balance in form. Now you can always elongate movements or shorten movements based on how it's feeling. You know, in the back oh, that hamstring. Yeah. Exactly. So you can, right if, if you're feeling it right in the bottom of that glute, that's perfect. Now, what I want you to focus on is your inner thighs. So we're gonna focus when we come down, really feel, hold, squeeze, and then squeeze back up. When you come, when you come up, squeeze the glutes together. The glutes. Right, so going down. Should I touch the floor with this? Almost, like this far from the floor. So going down, your inner thigh coming up, you squeeze the glutes. Okay, it's down, pause, and squeeze your glutes up. Excellent. Down, pause, squeeze the glutes up. Very good. We're gonna uh, get a little bit of quad you know, conditioning in, uh -huh. and then tie in the backside glutes. Now when you squeeze the glute, it's gonna squeeze and rotate the glute on the top. That's gonna lift that glute up. So we're gonna come up, squeeze, hold, and Keep come going. down. Okay. No. 
<laughs> Eight, come on, squeeze, excellent. Nine, and 10. So that combination of aerobic and anaerobic, of squeezing and hold, good combination. Okay, we're gonna stretch, touch the toes, squeeze, touch the knees. So come up on your bench, excellent. So keeping this range of motion short like this, good. You keep the focus on the hamstring. Anything above this, you tend to tie in through the lower back. And so what we're doing is we're, instead of resting between sets, we're keeping our core metabolic rate moving between sets. So we're making our workouts become a little more aerobic than anaerobic. Uh -huh. So these final weeks where you wanna be careful, and you wanna protect against injuries, yes. we don't wanna get you know, anything overtaxated and, and you know, have muscle either get hurt, get injured, or atrophy. We start, to, we start to put our focus more on our conditioning end of things. So the squeeze is right there. And it would come down nice and easy. Right there. Nice and easy. Come up easy. Good. Go down easy. We're gonna get a little better range of motion. And again, we're gonna, we're gonna do this one in, in a plie position because we're gonna wanna focus a little bit more on the glutes and the inner thighs. So you have those good quads. So for us, we're gonna bring, put our toes off this top end. You squeeze the glutes when you're out. You stretch when you come back. So this is inner thigh stretch. This is glute squeeze. Two, inner thigh. Really squeeze, stretch, and squeeze. Five, stretch and squeeze. Again, bring those feet out, and same thing. Keep your body line nice and straight. Stretch, really stretch those inner thighs. Squeeze those glutes on the way up. There you go. Good, and up. Now what this does that the kettlebells couldn't do, this lets you go lower. So it lets you really take it down. This is not really about the weight to success. No. This is, about, this is about form and function. Keep the back straight, excellent. Good. Stretch and squeeze. Kick and squeeze, six, come on. Seven, come on. Eight, nine, 10, five more, one, that's better. Good. Come on. Good. Stretch it. And one. Good. All right. Back to cardio. Five more minutes on cardio. You got to play with your foot position to see where you feel it best. Everybody, machines hit every single physique differently. So you got to focus on where you're feeling it at. Uh -huh. And make sure you squeeze those glutes when you push out. Can I straighten my knee? Yes, squeeze. You can even dry, drive on the heels of your feet. So when you drive those heels, you're gonna feel it drive all the way through the glute and the hamstring. Do I even stay here today in the foot right? I don't know. You're welcome to stay. <laughs> I'll, be sharing, I'll be sharing a room with, with the bulldog. You're gonna share the room with Thomas. <laughs> yep, Thomas and I will be best of friends. Come on. Up, up, excellent. Can I just say something? Some girls I see they do, they make it easier, that's why it's been hard for me. They go, and then to go up, they don't really push, you know? Mm -hmm. Engage using the, the times, they kind of like push it back like this. Right. So it's easier to go up. Because they're using their quads. Come, yeah. So when you hit, and you push with your heel, and you don't push your hips back, just push up. That's when, oh my God. It's a natural inclination to want to use strong assistant muscles yeah. to come and help in. Okay. So a lot of times with shoulders, when your shoulders get tired and you're doing laterals, you tend to want to lose that form. You lean forward, 
because you want to recruit your traps. So you lean forward. Well, now it keeps the strength a little bit, but you just transfer it, everything into the traps. Same thing here. They're using their quads, so they're losing all the bottom of the glute work. Yeah, yeah. So, but it's hard because it, it, it keeps that tension. Oh, yeah. All right, let's do our last band walk. One, one. <laughs> Very good. Oh, you got too much energy. Back on cardio. <laughs> 9.0. Oh my God. 18 no. incline. You're you're a little tighter through the abs. Yeah. See how the abs are crisper? Yeah. Well, because we just trained legs. So you push, you, you end up pushing a little bit of water through there. But what I wanted to see is what the core is doing. I want to see what that upper body, you're much tighter through the core. And your shoulder caps are really full. So these are just little things that give me little insights on, you know, what we may or may not want to do, you know, with pump ups and stuff, because, you know, your body's responding pretty quickly. We didn't do a lot of upper body, but it filled, it rounded and filled pretty quickly. Turn your toes in just a little bit. You got them a little too far out. There you go. Yeah, so we have to be very, very careful these next couple of weeks, not stimulate those legs too much because your legs fill very quickly. Yeah. The glutes are really full. Everything looks good. The lot, hamstring lines are coming in. You, know, you got a little water because we just trained legs, but the legs, they fill very quickly. So we just have to make sure, you know, we don't do anything with those legs after next Saturday. From this morning now, now the midsection really looks good because the hips come out just a little bit, the shoulders come out just a little bit. So yes, we have a little bit of water sits in our legs, but again, we just trained legs. Yeah. But that, that curve really drops that waistline. It's probably the tiniest I've seen your waistline. The waistline is really looking small. And then the hip flexor depth is better. So you can see the lines down the sides of the quads, yep. All that line is projecting much better. That side walking really pushed out, pushed that outer glute. Add it in. It's coming. So now we're into refuel mode. Yeah, so we went from burn mode to refuel. So what we're going to do is, you know, because we're looking to see what all these different cal micro calories are doing and what our macronutrients are doing. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go with our lunch, which is again, a little different, you know, from what we did at our AM and our, our breakfast and our AM snack. Mm -hmm. So now what we'll do is we'll see how the white rice affects us or the brown rice affects us or, you know, our lean meat. So I can get an idea what the glycogen levels are doing off the rice as opposed to the yams, as opposed to the oats. So uh, we just looked at uh, Angelica again and um, saw what the yam did. And then when she comes back, we'll look at her one more time to see what, what the rice effect is. So we're gonna go ahead and keep studying everything to you know, decide what we wanna do you know, going into these last two weeks to make sure we don't make any mistakes and we do everything right. So we're getting ready for refeed mode. Refeed mode. Coming up. Coming up. Thomas Fargus. Coach, you like some parmesan on your chicken or just plain? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, train was awesome. Train with Coach Kimoro, eating you know all the food and having him here, seeing my body is such a relief because he's watching my body very closely. So you know it's been amazing. So now the family is calling. I always tell you guys that family comes first, and my sister just had a baby. Oh my God! I'm so happy. Little bambino. Oh. He's healthy. <laughs> He's crying.
so happy and emotional today. Today is a very special day. So I'm coming to the hospital to see my nephew and the family is growing. Oh my God, so, so excited. So I want to thank you guys for watching and keep tuned because just two more weeks until the Olympia and I really appreciate all the support you guys showing. Okay, love you guys. Let's do this. Só os cabelinhos dele, a 